Hello, you're welcome. You're welcome onto my channel today, and it gives me great joy to observe you are viewing this video. I'm Dr. Lion Kakmali. I'm a lecturer in the university. I'm a researcher. I'm a sociologist. And on this channel, I do a number of stuffs. But all the stuffs I do on this channel, you can group them into four. Sociology, research, relationship, and migration. And I've grouped all of this by content into four playlists. Playlist on sociology, playlist on research, playlist on relationship, playlist on migration. So you can view my playlist depending on your interest. So you can catch up. And this, this current video is within the remit of research. And I've been talking about qualitative research for a few time, a few weeks now. And the last video I made on research was on content analysis. And I did promise I would drop more video on quality data analysis. So today I'm dropping this video on thematic analysis in qualitative research. Meanwhile, have you subscribed to this channel? If not, kindly go ahead and tap the subscribe button on your screen right now. Click the subscribe button on your screen right now to subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed to the channel, Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thematic analysis is what I want to talk about today. So what is thematic analysis? It's a method of analyzing qualitative data. And this thematic analysis is interested in identifying, identifying, analyzing, analyzing, presenting, presenting, interpreting, interpreting and reporting patterns. Don't forget patterns and these patterns the method want to report these patterns as themes themes within data that has been collected so thematic analysis is like an higher level of, of analysis compared to content analysis like i did mention in my video on content analysis view that video is just to identify you know some words some phrases or some issues of interest, you know, maybe just counting them, identifying them. But thematic analysis is going beyond content analysis. I mentioned in that video in content analysis that content analysis is usually first level analysis in qualitative data analysis. So thematic analysis is an higher level of analysis. If, if somebody has done content analysis, I've seen many people who have done content analysis, whether at PhD level, undergrad, or MPhil, or masters, or even operational research, applied research, and they simply say they have done content analysis. I'm always very surprised because content analysis is just basic level analysis. And I mentioned this in that video on content analysis. That is so basic as a major disadvantage. So thematic analysis goes beyond just identifying to the extent of going towards, I, I mean, identifying, analyzing, presenting, interpreting, reporting patterns, not just now the, the, the issues identified, but the patterns, you know, across different issues, different things have been identified. What are the patterns? How are they related? You know, this is very important. So it's not just about counting or analyzing words or phrases like content analysis, is about identifying obvious and not obvious patterns or relationship. So thematic analysis goes beyond what you can see, the obvious, but it's interested in not so obvious and the obvious patterns and meanings in that data that have been collected to the extent of being able to begin to interpret the data to telling us the essence of the finding. You know, the patterns over time, sometimes even the trend of what is being observed in the data, depending on the research design. There's a video on research design on this channel. Depending on the research design that is being adopted, we can now begin to look at patterns. Then that means the subjective, the capability of the researcher to interpret the data is very important. You know, because, you know, qualitative analysis is also interested in subjective interpretation of the data. So the capacity of the researcher to subjectively narrate, interpret 
the data is very important based on the experience and it is possible to do to do thematic analysis manually depending on the volume of the data depending on the volume of the transcript and you can use computer assisted qualitative data analysis software i've not mentioned the software here because i've not been paid for advertisement so but um, you have to know that there are computer assisted you know quality data analysis capability in terms of software that can be used but if you have large data mass large data or multi-sided data you cannot do manual analysis you may have to do computer assisted analysis but if it's just small data little data single-sided not too many data then you can do manual so what are the processes of analyzing data thematically process of thematic data analysis well the first and foremost is to collect the data you know you can use different methods of data collection you can use qualitative method of data collection you can use in-depth interview you can use key informal interview you can do case study you can do focus group discussion you know you, you can do live history you know all these methods i mentioned you can do observation all these methods i mentioned you can buy videos on every one of them on this channel that's qualitative method of data collection there are videos on them so you can view them so often once you have collected video you can have collected data based through this data, through this method you then have to transcribe the data there's also, also a video on transcription on this channel so you have to transcribe that means writing them writing out the data in textual form in verbatim verbatim mode you have to transcribe the data word for word like they said it's not transcription it's not about summary it's about verbatim tra i mean transcription of what you have recorded whether in video whether in audio whether in picture form you just have to or any other form you have to transcribe them then i mentioned this also in the video on content analysis you then have to study the transcript very well you know even if you use computer computer cannot analyze it cannot help you to make sense of the data the essence of data analysis is to make sense of that data to interpret that data to make sense of it data in quant qualitative research cannot speak for themselves so you have to make sense of it and there's no way you could make sense of it without sufficiently reading studying the transcript manually in the first instance before you upload them into the computer if you want to do that then you then have to code code means putting the the data in a language that the computer will understand or that even you as human beings will be able to make sense of even manually then you have to group the code in a way that they become themes they have to become themes. you know the code are usually individual minute elements referring to specific issues or patterns of interest then you then have to group them in a way that they form a theme you may have so many codes to become a theme and it is the theme that you will now have to analyze to analyze and interpret the codes will then form an aggregation before they can become themes so once you group the codes then you have to review the codes you and review the themes and finalize the themes to the extent that they are saying what you want to say and don't forget this is very important the code and the themes you are going to form must be directly related to your objective there's a video on this channel on, on objectives in research so because the objectives that you want to you want to explain is the research question that you want to answer there's a video on research question on this channel also is the research question that must form the data you're going to collect that must form that must inform the codes you are going to come up with that will inform the themes that you are, because the themes want to only help you to answer your research question so you must finalize your themes to be sure that these themes will answer your research question and will explain your research objective then once you have now reviewed and finalized the, the, the themes you can run the analysis whether manually or computer assisted but once you analyze Another important thing that you must know is that you must interpret the data. And this is very important because without interpretation, you cannot make sense of it. 
what are you interested in are you a, are you a marketer are you a manager are you a sociologist a psychologist or are you uh, are you in the arts or social sciences you must be able to make sense of this by interpreting it sometimes within the theoretical framework or sometimes based on if it's an actual research based on your interest so the interpretative capacity is what differentiates the researcher i hope you get it your capacity to interpret the data is what actually shows whether a researcher is strong or is weak pardon me anybody can collect data you know just send a, a random research assistant to the field but making sense of the data in terms of interpretation is the highest level that the researcher has to bring it to him because that's at that point that we're going to bring minutes out of the world showing patterns and how they how they answer your research question so you then report you write your report either it's a dissertation it's a thesis it's a project it's a report or whatever it is or a seminar paper you then write the report according to the themes based on the objectives and research question so thematic analysis is a bit more sophisticated than content analysis so don't just do content analysis and stuff like that is that you are doing quantitative analysis and you stop at the level of frequency distribution or univariate analysis that does not make sense so much it doesn't tell us much so thematic analysis helps us more to be able to bring out patterns and interpretation but what are the challenges of thematic analysis it can be time consuming even if you are doing computer assisted it will still take some time for you to be able to read the transcript and code and group your code and analyze and, in, and you know and interpret and review so it takes some time it's a tedious process but it's worthwhile then there's a problem of bias subjectivity in research sometimes researchers are just unlike quantitative they sometimes impose their bias on the data so we call it bias problem of bias or subjectivity or that is not objective sometimes then the issue of accuracy and consistency is a problem because um because it's led to the interpretation of the researcher so this is a major issue also but there are advantages Advan a major advantage is that thematic analysis like other qualitative method of data analysis tends to give very comprehensive very detailed analysis and also, if they, another object, uh, advantage is that it gives natural, natural interpretation because you are relying on what the people say sometimes at the first level, but you must not overinterpret to the extent that you, the desire then superimposes its own thinking into the world. So it's also very natural and also allows for interpretation and very expensive, extensive and comprehensive data gathering. So, thematic analysis is very nice, and I've just done it before. And that means when you are reporting, you can you, you must use the themes to form sections in that report. You have your objective. I, I love this approach so much. You can use your objective as a heading, then your sub-themes as sub-heading under the objective, and you report your data based on those themes related to the objective. So, you use them to form sections in your report. So, they are clearer. And the flow, like a story, I love it. I usually recommend this for my students to be able to, so it's clear and it's very interesting to read. I hope you have been, you have, you have been able to take one or two things from this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share as widely as possible. I'll drop another video. So the next video I will drop will, will be narrative analysis. After that, I'll go to discourse analysis. After that, I'll go to grounded theory. After that, I'll go to interpretative phenomenological analysis six of them i've done content analysis so now this is thematic look forward to narrative analysis till i see you later bye for now